Welcome to Research Talk. I hope you all are doing well. We are going to start a new series on ethnography, which is another prominently used qualitative methods in, in conducting qualitative research. So we'll learn about ethnography, different aspect of ethnography, different phases of ethnography, uh, data collection methods, data analysis methods, writing research reports, and all different aspects of doing ethnography. Ethnography uh, is basically uh, one of the oldest first methods of qualitative research used by primarily by social scientists, sociologists when they are studying a culture or they are studying a particular group that's when it started and then this tradition is continued. And in fact, uh, ethnography sort of contributed to other qualitative traditions such as uh, case study or uh, narrative inquiry and other approaches as well. So if you remember in our previous videos, we already talked about phenomenology, And in phenomenology, the focus is on understanding lived human experience. And then we studied case study. Now in case study research design, we focus on understanding cases or one case or multiple cases, and we go in depth and understand whatever the research question or topic that we are exploring. So the unit of analysis in case study is the cases that we are exploring. We also talked about narrative inquiry. In narrative inquiry, the focus is on participant stories, how these stories are being constructed, how they are shaping our research participants' lives. So the focus is on collecting participant stories and how those stories are constructed, shaping people's life, and being reconstructed, edited again and again. So the focus is on stories in narrative inquiry. We also covered grounded theory. And if you remember, the focus in grounded theory is understanding social processes. So we have covered these four approaches of conducting qualitative research. We discussed phenomenology, case study, narrative inquiry, and grounded theory. Now we are going to talk about, as I said previously, ethnography. So how ethnography is different from these approaches of conducting qualitative research? A key feature of ethnography is it is primarily focused on understanding groups and cultures. So if I'm as a researcher interested in understanding group behaviors, how a particular group navigates certain issues or certain things, or I want to understand a particular culture uh, a particular, you know, like how these cultures are making decisions, their beliefs, their rituals, all these points. So ethnography is where it is used. When you are focused on understanding a group behavior, a group culture, and, and different aspect of a culture. And what makes it really a different is from all these different approaches is extensive field work. What does it mean? As you know, 
field work is kind of part and parcel of uh, a qualitative researcher. We spend time going out in the field, collecting data. So if you are a phenomenologist, you can go out and do your interviews, phenomenological interview, your observation. If you are doing a case study, same thing. Uh, even narrative inquiry or grounded theory, you go out, go out in the field, collect data through interviews, through observation, document analysis. So you are spending time out in the field in collecting data. And that is called field work. Now, as compared to all these different approaches, the field work is more extensive in ethnography. What it means is at least six months to one year, that's what you typically see in, in uh, ethnography. So ethnographers, they go out, whatever is their focus of study, uh, a group, a culture, they go there, spend minimum six months or one year, which is very typical of ethnography, and do extensive field work. What I mean by extensive field work, they use this time, significant amount of time in observation, interviews, artifacts, so they are doing all these different means of observing, collecting data uh, from the group or the culture they are studying. So extensive field work is what differentiate ethnography from phenomenology, case study, narrative inquiry, and grounded theory. And obviously the focus is on understanding a culture, uh, rituals, uh, practices, beliefs, values inherent in a culture or any group. So that's the focus of ethnography. In terms of process, ethnography start with a research question or whatever is the focus of your study. So you start with your topic, uh, whatever focus you want to have for your study. And then as your research questions, your topics are finalized, you also think about some theoretical framework, a conceptual framework, which may guide your work. So you want to explore those two along with the topic or your research question that you want to explore. Now, these frameworks, which are obviously going to be uh, grounded in the literature and research, they are going to guide your, your decisions about data collection, data analysis, and all those things. So, you start with your topic, your focus of study, you explore your theoretical framework, conceptual framework, and then the next step is obviously uh, you develop the design. Design means your overall research design, how you are going to collect data, how you are going to analyze the data, uh, and how you are going to write your reports. And once these designs are finalized, then the next step is obviously looking for some funding to conduct this study. As I already told you that six months to one year, that's the typical time limit for ethnography. So you need resources to conduct your study. And to do that, you want to apply for funding to an agency or, or government organization to conduct your study. And funding is important if you are doing ethnography because it involves a huge 
investment of time and resources. You are going to spend six months to one year in one location, you live with the people, you spend time with the people, you are observing people. So all these requirements, all these things require uh, some resources to conduct the study. So you apply for funding, and once you get your funding, then you go to the next step of starting your data collection. In data collection, one thing that separates ethnography with other approaches of doing qualitative research is the focus is more on amic rather than attic approach. What is amic approach? Amic approach is the perspective of the people related to the phenomena. So let's say if I want to understand uh, a phenomenon, so obviously as a researcher, I have my own view, my own perspective. So that will be attic perspective. Amic perspective is the perspective, experience of the people for whom the study is being done. So it is, you could say, the inner perspective from the people who are experiencing the phenomenon. So if I'm studying a culture, so the experience of the people, perspective of the people living in that culture. Attic perspective will be outsider perspective. So in a way, so a, a researcher is an outsider. So that is attic perspective. Amic perspective is insider perspective. So if you, if you look at all these methodologies, whether it's phenomenology, case study, narrative inquiry, grounded theory, the focus is obviously on amic and uh, also on attic to a certain extent, but mostly it's, it's amic. However, when you think about ethnography, it's very comprehensive. You are spending a lot of time doing field work, collecting data to, uh, through your field work, and you collect uh, a huge amount of data, thousands of pages of data, uh, focusing on amic perspective, which is insider perspective. So that's what make another thing uh, separate about ethnography. Focus is huge focus on amic. Although you have outsider perspective as well, and outsider perspective obviously could be the researcher perspective and your theoretical lens is also outsider perspective. So the focus is more on epic rather than attic perspective. So once you get your funding, you go for data collection and then you do the data analysis. In ethnography, the process of data collection and data analysis, they go simultaneously. So the life of an ethnographer is in the daytime, you go out, you do observation, you make your notes, um, or you do interviews, record your interviews. And then in the evening time when you are sitting, you, you organize all the data you have collected uh, maybe some transcription, writing some memos, some notes, and all these things. So data collection, data analysis go together in ethnography as you, you may already have seen with other traditions as well. So another thing which separate ethnography from other approaches is most of the time the final product in ethnography is a book because you have collected such a rich data, a huge set of data, thousands of pages of observation, interviews, because you are spending almost a year, six months in living with with certain group or, or culture. So the, uh, the final product obviously is going to be a research report that you submit to your funding agency or whosoever is funding the study. And then you also um, 
most of the time it's not necessary, but you see a book being published out of that data. People also can do conference presentation and different outlets to disseminate the findings of your ethnographic work. So this is briefly about ethnography and overview and in the next videos, um, we are going to spend more time about various phases of ethnography, particularly related to uh, your research focus, research question, and then moving to your research design and how do you collect data, what are the things you need to be mindful of when you are collecting the data, and some logistical uh, consideration that one should keep in mind when you are planning all, because this requires a lot of investment of time and resources. So planning, implementing, and analyzing the data and dissemination of the results. So we'll talk about all these different phases of doing ethnography. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.